Okay, we are at ISE 2019 at uh, the Harman stand and here with Karam about a great new loudspeaker, a monitor speaker set, the 104. Can you tell me a little bit about the 104? No, absolutely. So the JBL 104 is our new compact desktop reference monitor. It's a professional reference monitor for small spaces, whether you're making music or whether you're making audio for video. This is a fantastic solution for any environment where you have very little space, but you require a lot of output, a lot of accuracy, and a lot of just detail in the audio signal. Okay, so you explain me a little bit about uh, the depth, which is, you know, it's ex extraordinarily thin for such a high volume, which I, we just heard, and we cannot play it here on the video. Well, how is that ma uh, made? So, the first thing that we did was we um, developed our own four and a half inch transducer. So, we're one of the few manufacturers that develops our own transducers and we created a concentric driver. So what that means is that the woofer and the tweeter is one component. And by making that component smaller but still maintaining the output, we were able to make a very compact monitor not only in height but also in depth. So if your space is very small, it won't be too much higher than your laptop, but you can also put it against a wall and still get all the output and the low frequency content that you need. And these small little reference monitors go from 50 hertz to 20 kilohertz, which is unheard of in such a small affordable package. So you don't need a subwoofer to get that low frequency? You don't need a subwoofer to get the kind of output that you need for the content you're going to make. Perfect. Subwoofers are always great. But you can get you can do your entire mix just with these two speakers. Yeah, so I'm a video editor myself. We do all these videos, and well, I love the the curved screen. Uh, by the way, from Samsung, Harman, and uh, AKG and JBL, they're all part of the same family. Um, but uh, when I'm using my traditional speakers, I always have a little issue with the sound stage. How is it with this product? Well, it's it's actually really incredible. So for JBL, if you know a lot of our heritage. We make $20,000 reference monitors for professional studios. We're the standard in the post-production industry with our 7 Series. And we're able to take a lot of our technology and create solutions at very affordable price points. So in terms of the soundstage, a lot of the things that we say is you can't mix what you can't hear. And for us, it's all about translatability. And what that means is if you're mixing on these as your reference, we want it to sound the same on your laptop, on headphones, on uh, uh, stereo system, whatever your playback device is. And the way we get an incredible soundstage is that the um, components in here, particularly the transducer, it acts like a waveguide at the same time. So what that means is you get all the detail within your signal so you can hear your high frequencies, your mids and your lows in a, in a way that you can't add $149 US. And is there a sweet spot? Well, the price is a sweet spot. Uh, what the price is? So the price is $149, but in terms of an audio sweet spot, traditional reference monitors, the sweet spot is an equilateral triangle, so it would be right here. But the way we developed our technology and our waveguide, you can be over here or in the traditional sweet spot or a little off the sweet spot, and you can still hear all that detail. And the reason this is critical is because unless you're a professional mix engineer, a lot of times you don't know where to sit, you don't know the proper posture, so anyone can use these speakers and still hear all the detail and you can have confidence that your reference is going to be accurate no matter where you play it back. So what is amazing is that you don't have to sit exactly here because as an editor you're sitting here. Uh, but is there a specific left and right speaker or can you mix them? No, there is. So this unit here with a volume pot, that is the left speaker. And the dual 30 watt best in class amplifier is in that speaker and then it connects to this one to power this one. Perfect, that sounds ideal. I only have one issue, if I call a cord for the headphone which I can plug in mm -hmm. and I'm right handed, I'm here with my mouse. I might have wanted it here, but nevertheless I got a wireless headphone, so no issue there. So very thin, very wide range of frequency, no real sweet spot, a great sound stage. Mm -hmm. A sweet spot is the price you mentioned, 149. But for this, I think it's also ideal for gamers because they can sit everywhere. Absolutely. So not only is this speaker amazing for anyone creating content, but it's phenomenal for people that just want to play back um, audio, whether it's gaming or videos. 
because it provides you so much output and so much detail that it benefits anyone that wants to use it. Okay, thank you, Karam. The 104, 149 price points, and really, I think people should check it out. It's amazing. Thank you. Fantastic.